Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures. My name is Jolian and in today's video we'll be building up this particular miniature. This is Minka Lesk or Arminka Lesk. Uh, it's a Black Library sort of uh, miniature. There are books based on this character. In fact, I just purchased the Omnibus and uh, yeah, it's quite a nice kit. Here is the box. Right here there are a couple of different versions um, of this build that you can do with a couple of different sort of uh, head variations as well. So that's always a good thing. A little bit of um, variety is always a good thing. And <laughs> the camera angle is slightly weird. My <laughs> the other angle that I had, it, the footage went very strange. Anyway, so you get the um, power sword and bolter or a las rifle and a pointing arm. Firstly for me, it's the pointing arm. I am all about miniatures especially when they're pointing stuff pointing at things that's always usually well it usually gets my uh my the choice from me when i when i see something like that um unless there's a particular reason like sort of in game however and there are some words it's available as part of the black library celebration 2023 follow her rise through the ranks in the latest book well, i've actually got the omnibus um, thankfully, I just finished my last book. There's the instructions, sprue, base. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look. All right. So, commemorative series instructions. There's only three pages. Here are the sort of uh, variant assemblies. We've got the choice of parts and the stage complete the little signs it's gonna be a pretty easy kit to build up i hope um we've got two variations to really consider with a different head option um each so it really depends on the loadout you want as i said before um i'm going to be going out going with the las rifle option not that power sword option so without further ado Let's start building. So we need parts one and two, which we're going to remove right here. We are going to fast forward some the majority of this footage for this building. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, slightly tedious. I weirdly, I did, <laughs> I did have a bit of a struggle getting this kit together. The getting these two legs um, uh, sort of together was a bit of a struggle for some reason. I couldn't quite get the angle right until it suddenly dawned on me that uh, one leg was supposed to be angled quite a bit further forward. However, we did we did uh, defeat that with the cunning use of our brains. So uh, I was happy about that. I'm going to clean up some of these seams as well. I'm going to have to go back later after the fast this video has been recorded and tidy up a few more, no doubt. It's usually the state of things. I usually miss a few just sort of recording purposes. Yeah, and as I said before, the I have a sort of pointing down camera, a vertical camera. Uh, this is my currently my cell phone, which is sort of angled at slightly weird um, degree. The I frankly don't know what happened with the web camera this morning today. It was there was sort of ghosting art artifacts. I'm not saying there were ghosts or ghosts at all. There was like, I was moving my hand and there was like a blur behind it. So it was uh, very frustrating because I've used that setup before. And um, well, frankly, I've got no idea. So I'm gonna have to spend a bit of time over the weekend trying to figure out exactly what happened there. So this is the back right here that I'm getting because I struggled with this leg position. I thought if we align the back to where it's supposed to be, then we can get the leg in the right place and glue the leg in and then get the, the back in afterwards. So, as I said, I was struggling a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit of glue. This is a the new glue pot. That's too much glue right there. You need to remove the excess there. Badger. Okay, we're gonna zoom in right here. Obviously we have moved a little bit of the excess glue. Oh. That's already glued together, even when I dropped it. We are going to need a little bit more glue on there just to uh, make sure it's firmly in position. Get some of that Tamiya extra thin in place. 
probably need to apply a bit of pressure. Otherwise, we might have a little bit of a gap to fix later. Make sure these little... Um, I think do the neatest of cuts off these sort of shoulder buckle bits earlier. So we've got to come back and clean that now. Thankfully, it's not a massive, massive task. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we need to do. There we go. Double check on that little bit right there. Okay, now we've got to glue the back to the front and the legs. So we're going to just put a little bit of extra glue right between the legs where there was, uh, we actually missed out on that entirely. So I had to do that. What are we going to do? We're going to put a bit of glue just on either side, top and bottom, and we're going to smush this into place like so. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Yeah, well done. Round of applause for me. A bit of extra glue just where the bits were missed, and we should be good to go. Make sure there's no... I think there's a tiny bit of spillage of glue on the back of the leg. So if there is, just make sure you've cleared that up. You don't want that melt, especially you don't want melting like a fingerprint into the plastic, which I've definitely done before and regretted later. So keep an eye when you're gluing out, gluing these things together. Okay, so you get two head options. You've got one with a sort of, uh, I don't know, with a bandana, and then you get the other option with a cybernetic, I don't know, sort of cybernetic eye. It's a sort of sighting device, which is in fact the one I'm going to choose. I'm going to keep the other head for other option, other uh, Astro Militarum miniatures in the future, along with the power sword and bolt bolter. So um, always good to keep these little bits and pieces around. Don't sling those sprues. Always, always add to the bits box. You never know when they're going to come in handy. And I also just realized I haven't attached the base. This bit right here, it's sort of... Well, she's standing on it, so um, we've got to clean that bit up there. All right, that's a bit more scraping there. We can always come back later and do this. Okay, just had to align this. We are going to get some glue in here nice and quickly. That's where her right foot goes onto that little footprint. Oh, I think that was a bit of a blockage. Not the end of the world. There we go. And a bit of glue there should be enough. Probably need to add a little bit more in the future, but now it's going to be more than enough. Get that foot into place. Right there, run a little bit more of that extra thin where it needs to go. Fantastic stuff. Yep. And then we're going to get some glue and just attach it to its actual base. Then we can move on to the final step. Bonk that into position, apply a bit of pressure. I am going to go around, funnily enough, um, a bit later with some textured paste just to sort of go over the, uh, the top of that base, blend it into that plastic a little bit better. Or I suppose it could be, I suppose she could be standing in the in a puddle. Um, that could be, it could be, I don't know. It could be in the middle of a lake or something. I don't know why, but it could be. Okay, that is now glued on. Okay, so we've got the head option. We've gotten rid of the seam lines. I was pondering, I think that's going to be too much glue. You might want to remove some excess there. Uh, I was pondering painting this head entirely separately on like a sort of um, a drill bit or something. But we seem to get pretty good. It looks like we're going to be able to get the brush everywhere we need to on this. So sub-assembly isn't going to be needed, thankfully. Okay, so this is the option we're going with. We're going with the pointing arm, the most important part, right there. And we're going to go with the LAS rifle. And there's also a sort of belt, um, left shoulder bit and a belt. Uh, whatever that, um, that's the shoulder bit sort of belt um, thing. There's a knife and a pouch and stuff like that right there. So that needs to go on. Meanwhile, check out my website at gloriousminiatures.com. I will be having my resin print shop up and running there once I get to the new house. I will be reactivating the blogs as well, uh, getting some written words down and other such things. So do go and check it out. Consider subscribing to the newsletter. We've got a little bit of tidying up on these arms and little bits and pieces that we just removed from the sprue. I think the LAS rifle, I was, I was a bit 
could have been a bit of a um, easier. I could have I could have cleaned it up slightly better than I actually did. I think it was a bit of a uh, I don't want to say a rush job. I will go back to it later when, as I said, when I do the when I go back with the textured paste to the base, I'll probably tidy up this las rifle a little bit more. I think the uh, power pack underneath could have been done a bit better. I have to double check though. Tidy up that little bit along the barrel. There's that mag magazine power pack, whatever whatever you call it, and that's the uh, stock right there. Okay, I think that's pretty okay. Double check. Yeah, I guess that's enough. Yeah, I was, try I was concerned that I'd taken off too much of it. I think that was my issue with it. Anyway, I hadn't. That's all good. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, we've got a bit of glue on that left upper shoulder. There is a sort of a sort of a nodule bit for it to sort of locate itself in the right position. Do that. Get a bit of glue around the back of the arm right there. Make sure we had enough pressure applied to it. And uh, we'll wait wait a little bit longer because I think next up we're going to be putting on the pointing arm right here. Bit of glue. Sorry, that's off, doing that off camera, but it's just, just regular plastic glue. Nothing special. I'm not keeping any trade secrets away. Okay, so we just get that into position straight away. Fantastic stuff. I'm all about some tactical pointing. Go over there and do things. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm just sort of eyeing it up, making sure that that pointing hand is at the right angle. Sometimes I've definitely put the arms on and they've definitely been a bit too wonky. We're going to attach the knife and pouch to the uh, her belt right there. Apply a bit of pressure. Unfortunately, what I'm about to do is... I'm going to glue on the LAS rifle, and that pouch hadn't fully kind of uh, glued into position yet, so it did move a little bit. I was a bit too hasty with this part. I do realize that issue in a bit, though, and it does get resolved. I did struggle a little bit getting this hand position correct. She does have a there's a little indentation on her left uh, arm where like the wrist where the um i don't know what you call it a sort of buckle thing on the las rifle attaches to uh and it sort of goes into that little divot on the arm so do do check it out you can just about see it right there the wrist hopefully i don't know if we'll get the angle on this unfortunately right by the buttstock where it sort of gets to the arm there's a little nodule where it locks into place Took me a second to realize that, but we got there in the end. There we go. Getting a little bit more glue right where it needs to be. At that joint. Apply a bit of pressure. Good to go. All right, that's it. That's the kit. There are no special rules on the instructions. So don't worry and this is the finished kit as you can see right here i do need to go and tidy up a little bit more and uh whatnot before we get to the painting situation i don't particularly have cadians as such i don't really have a, i do have astra militarum but i haven't fully decided on the paint scheme it's uh it's a strenuous thing i, I do have some ideas and i've talked about it on my blog at gloriousminiatures.com and I will talk about it again and indeed paint once I'm able to paint properly on this channel. And if you would like to see those videos, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss those videos when they eventually go live. And that's all I got to say. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.